Hi everybody, this is Tina with Rehatch Designs. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, this is going to be my video, uh, my giveaway video. I've reached my 1300 actually a few days ago and I had cut it off at that point. Uh, my 1300 subscribers. First I want to say hope y'all are doing great um, and mostly thank you uh, for subscribing, for watching. Um, I honestly, I can't believe I have that many people watching my channel. <laughs> when I started this, I just thought, well, you know, I'll probably have my family, maybe a few friends. <laughs> it really kind of shocks me. But anyway, thank you so, so much. I greatly appreciate it. Um, if you're new to my channel, what I do is I have giveaways periodically when I reach certain goals. And right now I'm doing it at every 100 new subscribers. My cutoff for this time was 1,300 and I reached that a few days ago. I couldn't do the giveaway the actual date happened because I was out of town um, visiting my family. And also uh, we had a little road trip to uh, Round Top Antique Show in Texas and um, had a great time and I've got a little show and tell after this if you want to stick around for that okay um first off let me show you what we're going to get there's going to be three winners um i usually do three winners the way that it works um is if you subscribe and comment on any video it can be old video new video doesn't really matter i just use the date that i hit a certain number and time and I move on through there so I can see your comments, you know, going forward, whether it's an old video or new video. And each time you comment on a video, you are entered to win, um, you know, for the next time we hit our goal. So the next goal would be 1,400. And when we get there, then I'll have another giveaway. I don't announce what it's gonna be ahead of time. I like it to be a surprise. And, you know, I want to make sure that people are watching because I want to watch, not because I'm giving things away. But I do want to show my appreciation um, of y'all subscribing to my channel and um, making comments. And I do read your comments. I don't always have a chance to get back to you. Um, but I do read them all and I log them all in and I try and respond in some way. So, um they're much appreciated. Anyway, um, I, I really do appreciate them. I do. Okay. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and go through this uh, giveaway and I'll show you what we have. Okay. First off, and there's three different ones. So this is the, you're going to get a little golden book. We had just on my channel did the little golden book how to. Okay. Um, this one is in pretty good shape. I mean, it's not bad. And it is uh, 1984, so it's vintage. and But it's in really good shape. It's in uh, Jingle Bells. And with that, you will be getting... Um, I, when you, if you watch my channel, we did a, a little golden book. And I use a few pieces of scrapbook paper with it to... Um, uh, make the uh, uh, signature covers and some few other things in there. And so I'm going to include these four pieces of scrapbook paper. I thought they'd go really well. I've got the little bell. And the big thing is the colors go well with the um, uh, papers inside this, uh, in, in the book. If you see, they're very similar in color. And that's what I try and look for when I, when I use the papers. I've got a few napkins in case you want to do some decoupaging. In this little baggie here, I have several things. I'm going to pull it all out. First off, I have some um, vintage uh, material, and there's more than enough to do, you know, probably several books in here. But I put that in there, so if you wanted to use it for this, you could. Um, in addition to that... I put a bunch of ribbons in here that I thought would go with it um, just to, you know, if you decided you wanted to make a tassel or you wanted to use it on the uh, 
the uh, book or whatever. They're all in here with eyelash trim, etc. There's quite a bit. Okay. In addition to that, I got all of the little pieces that you would need. Let me open this up. Okay, hang in there. There we go. And in here, and so all of them are like, you're getting similar things, but so I'm gonna show you this one and kinda not show you the others, but anyway. So you'll be given the um, the corners, the corner pieces to go on the corners. Uh, this piece that I use for the tassel some bulb pins, a clip, and some eye and some eyelets, okay? So that's kind of all the hardware stuff that you would need. Put that in there. All right, and then, oops, that fell out. I included some, if I can open these, hold on just a second get closer to me and I can see what I'm doing. Okay, and then just some little, just, um, this has all just little bells, charms that you may want to use on there, okay? And a little pearl if you want to use it on your little dangle and some bells, okay? So, I thought that'd be kind of cute. And then I have just some buttons that you may want to use because in the video that we did, we added the buttons. Uh, so you may want to do that. And so that's pretty much it as far as what you get. And so let me put that in there. So you will get all of this. So that's the first one, put that aside. And then here's the second one and I'll go through it a lot quicker. This one is the biggest, most beautiful Christmas tree. And this one's 1985. You can see all the beautiful illustrations in that. And that one comes with these papers and they're each four pieces of paper that you'll get so that you can use them. I kind of picked out things I thought would go with it. And that will go with that. And again, you get your napkins. And in here, the same thing. You're gonna get, um, I won't open all these up. You'll get your ribbons that go with the uh, cover and the paper. Um, this has um, all Christmas trees and the little bobble in there. And you've got some more vintage, uh, fabric that you can use on the spine and of course the hardware pieces that you will need that we got in the other ones and some buttons that would go well with it okay so that all goes in here put that all in here and so that is the second prize get those all in there and i want to get them all mixed up because they're kind of and I tried to match them, you know, as best I could. And then this one is for Frosty the Snowman. And um, this is really cute as far as the illustrations go. Um, this was originally um, done in 1950. So the illustrations um, are very nostalgic. Now, I think this book is from the 80s. I don't know if I can see the original date that it was republished doesn't say that now it's a reproduction but I think this one's um, the 1980s so but it is the uh, it's a copy of the original one and so it's really cute the uh, let's see oh, let me show you the papers that I used for this one it has kind of those turquoise colors in it. And got these and that. So 
So anyway, that's what I put in there with that. Of course, you can use whatever you want. It's yours. And we've got our napkins. And in here we have our ribbons that I picked out for that. And it has eyelash trim and everything in it. Some buttons that I picked out for that. And then the charms. And these are all um, different uh, snowmen. Okay. And, and then here's some hardware. And then this is the fabric again. This is vintage fabric. And it has a little snowman on it. Okay. So that is what the prizes are. And we are going to go ahead and draw from those. Draw for, for those in here. Put all that in there. Now the way it works on the drawing is I pay for all the shipping and everything unless you are out of the United States. And then at that point, you would be responsible for to pay for shipping. And if you decide that, you know, if you give me your address, I can give you an idea what the shipping would be. And if you want to do that, then basically you would purchase this in my Etsy store for the shipping cost. And then I would send it out to you, okay? Um, it's just that the shipping overseas is very expensive right now, and I, you know, I can't really do the shipping for you. Um, if you decide that it, you don't want to pay the shipping cost for it, then your prize will just be, I'll just draw it and give it to someone else, okay? And that's just how it'll work, okay? So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do the drawing, so... And we'll do it in the order that I did it. So, um, what we'll do first is it'll be uh, this one. Let me get it out. Okay. This will be the first number. And then this would be the second number, the Christmas tree. And then the last one will be uh, the snowman. Okay. So, that's how we're going to do it. First number, second number, third number. Okay. Okay. And the way I'm going to do it is I have a list. Oops, didn't mean to move my light there. I have a list, and what I've done is I have listed um, everybody's comments and put them in um, the order, you know, um, actually reverse order from what they came in. This would be the most recent to here. And then I go through, and then I number them. And then what happens is... Um, I pick three numbers randomly on my random number counter, and then I, then whatever number it lands on, that's the person that wins. Um, I don't use a random comment picker because the way that it works, it's looking for specific words um, and things, and it and it doesn't really pick them the way I need to. So I do it this way, so it is random. I have no idea, you know, who it's going to pick. And like I said, like your name, if you've watched. 20 videos and commented 20 times and your name is in here 20 times okay now i only put your name down one per video so if you comment five times per video i wouldn't put your name in there five times for that video i'd put it in there for one and like i said it can be old videos because i i keep track of it based on date not necessarily um if it's an old video or not because i do realize when i get new subscribers they watch old videos and that's fine you know just comment and You'll be in there because I, I do it um, based on the date. Okay. So, anyway, I'm going to do that. And let me go ahead and um, do it. I'm using, um, let me see here. All right. So, we have 102 comments. And I'm going to pick three people. So, let's go ahead and see what we get. Okay. So, it's 51 172. Those are the three numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and pick those out of here and figure out who they are. So 51 is the lowest number we have. Okay, so that is Diana Campanelli is number 51. And then number 72 is... Alicia Bland, that would be number 72. And then number 100 
would be uh, Joyce Thatcher. Okay, guys, so um, let me go over these again. We're at... Okay, so Diana Cap C A N P A N E L L I Diana Campanelli Alicia Bland and Joyce Thatcher. Okay, so you are the winners, and um, so number fifty one would be. Um, This one right here, the Jingle Bells, okay? And then number 100, and that was uh, Diana Capanelli. You won the Jingle Bells. And then 100, uh, let's see, let me go back, is uh, Joyce Thatcher, so she will win. Let me move this out of the way. I'm going to move this real quick. Okay. Um, she will win the Christmas tree. So that is Joyce. Let me put that next to here. So I remember. Okay. And then the last number was I drew was 72. So that'll be um, Alicia Bland and that'll be Frosty the Snowman. Okay. So anyway, guys, that is what we're doing. Um, what I will do is I will put my, um, uh, uh, contact information in the description box and all you have to do is contact me with your address, um, uh, through my email and I will, uh, go ahead and, uh, mail these out to you. If, like I said, if you're out of the country um, just give me your address so I can tell you how much the postage will be. And if you decide you want to go ahead and get it, then I'll I'll post it in my Etsy shop and, shop and you just buy it for basically the cost of postage. postage. Okay, so uh, Diana, you've won um, the uh, Frosty, I think. Right? Was that? Oh, wait, wait. No, I'm sorry. I got that backwards. Okay, so Diana won the Jingle Bells. That's right. Okay, so Diana won Jingle Bells, and then Joyce won the Christmas tree, and then um, Alicia Bland won Frosty the Snowman. Okay, so that is it, guys. That is what my drawing was for the 1,300. Um, Our next drawing will be 1,400. Okay, and I just wanted to really quickly um, kind of give you an idea of um, what I did when I went to uh, Round Top. I just, it is a huge, huge, if you're ever in uh, Texas, they have it in the spring and they have it in the fall. And it is basically antiques miles and miles and miles and miles and miles um, as far as, you know, uh, places to go and shop. I mean, we didn't even, we were there for, you know, a couple days. And honestly, we, I don't even think we put a dent in it. And of course, I didn't buy very much because I flew to San Antonio. I'm in the Dallas area. And when you fly, I mean, you know, I couldn't bring back that much. But my sisters did pretty good. And I don't think that we are prepared. It's my first time I've ever went prepared for all of that we saw. So next year, I'm probably going to drive and um, take my husband's pickup truck because there was a lot there. Um, as far as stuff for junk journals, I bought other things too. But I wanted to show you what I got just to show you that you can get things like that. There was um, a lady there that sold vintage fabrics. I just thought I'd show you this fabric. Is it beautiful? Um, all kinds of vintage fabrics, trims, uh, everything you could think of. So um, that kind of thing. They had that kind of stuff there. So if you're interested in that kind of thing. They did say, because they did not have their spring sale, I was talking to a lady, they may have one in um, 
January. She didn't say when, so I guess, you know, look out and see what's out there. Because I don't think it's positive as to whether they're going to do it or not. Um, I did get this. This is a, um, a Shirley Temple um, paper dolls. And it is, it's got two little Shirley Temple dolls in it and all these really cool little clothes. And probably what I'll do, these are very old. I'm probably gonna go ahead and maybe copy these and then put them in some some of my uh, books or something. So I thought they were really cute. Anyway, they, he, they had a lot and I only bought the one. I can, now that I kinda wish I would've bought more. I bought a ton of music um, just because it was very uh, inexpensive a dollar each so I got all these um, just so you know I have the originals here on um, some of these I got them for the cover um, because I think I'm going to try and do something with them okay and then some of them, these bigger books, I just, I like the um, yellowing of this paper. Um, just some of the songs I thought would be really cool. So anyway, that was cool. This one had Christmas. So I just really kind of thought for a dollar they were well worth it. Um, so I bought those. I found, oh, here's one here. These are more here. So, anyway, so that's that. And I bought this magazine, and I really wished I'd have bought more because they were only a dollar. Um, and I, did, I only bought the one, which was really kind of silly. Um, but this is uh, What's New. And they had all different kinds of stuff, but this is really kind of cool. Some of the pictures in it, and... I thought that would be kind of fun. 1965. Okay. Um, there was a lot of different textiles and things like that. And I think this one is... I bought it mainly because I thought it would be kind of fun to maybe make a cover out of that. Um, maybe for spring or something. And it had this on the other side. And it was... I have a lot already. So, I could have bought more, but I didn't. So, I got that. Um, let's see here. I found this package. I think it was like $2. And it had all these vintage cards in it. Some letters, things like that. And I thought they were really cute. And, you know, some of them I might not use. Some of them I will. Just kind of have to go through them and see what's in there. I love putting old cards and things in a journal. Um, anyway, that's what I got. I just had this little calendar in there. I thought it was kind of cute. You just never know what you're going to find. It was just in a stack of stuff. Um, so I found that. I did find quite a few old cards and I love collecting old cards to use so I got those and they're all different um, kinds for a dollar each which I thought was a good price so you know it just depends on what kind they are like this one is the west and you know I just get different ones and then depending upon what kind of journal I'm doing so this one has just some horses on the back and you know a few of the other ones the kings and all that are different you know western themes so I just collect them if they're inexpensive I don't really pay very much for them so I do have quite a few others so uh, this was some um, like 1970s, really cool looking one. Uh, 
These are kind of neat too. These are kind of Western. And then these are just some old ones. And even if you're gonna, you know, dress them up, these are just some very different looking. Oh gosh, I don't know. Just different, you know, looking cards. So I thought, well, why not? Why not? I'll get them. They were a dollar, so got those. And then, you know, plus I was trying to think what I could fit in my suitcase. I did find some uh, uh, very vintage um, flash cards that I thought were really cute. I like the size, and they're they're pretty old. So, anyway, I got those. All right. Then I found these really kind of fun. This was um, just some seed packets and they were very inexpensive. And I got a bunch of those. And these are, you know, really the old vintage ones. It's not a reproduction. So anyway, I thought those would be kind of fun to have. Um, the other thing I got... I collect old silverware and I got some spoons and I use this um, in my coffee bar. Of course, they need to be shined up a little bit, but I do have these. And that was pretty much it. I bought a few other things that really were more decorative, not a whole lot to do with anything that were um, just nothing real special, but if you ever get a chance to go there, I would go there because it's a lot of fun. Oh, wait, I did get these. I forgot. I didn't show you these. This was a really fun find. Um, this was um, in Warrington, which is also, when you go to uh, Round Top, it's not just Round Top. It's the, the all the towns around it, too. These little towns in the Texas Hill Country. And you just go from one to another. And it's just lined wall to wall. You know, um, different antique venues and stuff like that. And um, it's not like a flea market at all. It's just like going to, I don't know how many antique stores all in a row. Anyway, um, this actually came from the original... Uh, store and the woman that had it closed it down but she rents out her space and these came this was something that they found in the back room and I thought they, these are really cute this has the carbon on the back this would be like the other copy and they're pretty vintage and old and I thought boy these are I like these so I got a couple of these too so I did get that and I think that's pretty much it. I didn't really get a lot of other things. They were just all, you know, small, so I could fit them in my suitcase and just kind of wanted to investigate it. But I definitely will be going in the spring uh, with a pickup truck because if you're into any kind of um, statement-type antique furniture, boy, they had that, um, yard or all kinds of stuff, just ev everything you could possibly think of, um, uh, I do think maybe a lot of decorators probably go there, that type of thing. So, but they did have a lot of uh, vintage linens and things like that. So, if you wanted to get that kind of a thing, you know, quilts and, and stuff like that, too. So, anyways, guys, that was fun, and I did that. And I just wanted to um, also tell you that on Tuesday... Um, we're going to start, I'm going to start doing a series where we make um, some things that are not, um, you know, as as um, time consuming as a full size journal. And the first thing we're going to do is something similar to this. Um, this is something that I made on my channel. And we're going to make something like this. And it's a little budget um, kind of keeper thing. Um, it goes like this. Okay, and um, it's made with file folders, so get yourself, I would say about 
uh, two large or three smaller file, file folders. I like to use a larger legal size, but you can use smaller ones. It'll work. And I also, in this, I used a um, just a little uh, uh, journal, a weekly journal like this. If you can get yourself one of those. If not, we can also, we're going to make... Um, we can make a little journal to go in there too. Um, you do need some envelopes. I used uh, these, uh, just the legal size envelopes. I had some that were already kind of uh, darker, different colors. So whatever kind you have handy would work. Uh, lace trim, papers, whatever. Um, I am going to do it in a kind of a Christmas uh, theme. So we're going to do that. Um, so, you know, you can make it this way to make it look like this, because I do have a video out there, or you can do the Christmas type theme that I'm going to do. Um, you can use any papers, Christmas papers you have, or scrapbook paper um, that you want to use to decorate it, any kind of decorations. So that is going to start on uh, Tuesday of this week. So um, stay tuned, and it'll probably be a two-part series um, Tuesday and Thursday. Okay, so we'll be doing that, and, and then we'll move on to the next project, okay? So anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate all of my uh, new subscribers, and I definitely appreciate all of my old subscribers. You've been through, <laughs> through the bad and the ugly. Um, I do want to apologize for my last video. I uploaded part two and titled it part three. And um, and then I had a horrible time. I took down the, the wrong video, tried to post the right video, and I had a lot of technical difficulties getting it out there. So it finally did load, and part three of the Little Golden Books is out there if you haven't seen it. And it is the correct one if you went to go look at three. And it was basically I put two out there again instead of three. So if you went to go look at it and it was wrong, um, the right one is out there now if you want to see part three. Okay, so sorry about that. And I had, like I said, I had a horrible time um, getting it out there. I usually don't have a tough time with it, so I don't know what happened. But anyway, guys, I thought I would... Um, uh, share where I was and why I couldn't do it on the day that I hit 1300 but I did cut it off at that point and so all of my winners um, you have uh, a week to get back with me um, and that way I can you know release your prize to more people if for some reason you don't you know get back to me and all you have to do is uh, you know just um, uh, give me your email and decide, you know, if you have to pay for shipping if you want it to. Or, you know, sometimes the shipping may be, a, you know, 80 to $100. I mean, the, the shipping right now is crazy because it's not just the shipping amount, but they're also um, doing a, 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 a service charge and all this other stuff they'll attach to it. So it may not be worth it for you. Um, I am holding some things for some people and waiting for all of the uh, special charges and things to go away so I can mail them out. And I will do that for a period of time. I can't do it indefinitely, but I would do that for you if that's something you wanted to do. Okay, so anyway, guys, um, you know, please uh, subscribe and comment on my video so you'll be entered in for the next one. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Round Talk, Texas, and this is their twice a year sale where they have antiques and vintage things. And I'm here with my two sisters and their, da my, their daughter. Hi, Diana, say hi. Linda, say hi. Anyway, so we're, it has amazing, a lot of furniture stuff, but I have already found all kinds and it's of... it's half a day and we're already broke. Yes. <laughs> I found all kinds of things that I'll show you guys when we get back. Um, but it's a fun, it's a fun thing to do. And I, we're not, we haven't even hit the tip of it. It goes for miles and miles and miles, guys. Miles.